everybody, welcome back to the more YouTube channel. It's Chris back. One of the rumour has it video we'll talk about players linked to the football club over the summer transfer window. Transfer is definitely transfer activity that is heating up. There's loads of players being linked to clubs left, right and centre. Certainly Newcastle United. Some of them true, some of them false. We just try and report the ones that are speculated in the media. We are not ITK. My God, we're not ITK. Please don't try and put that in the comments. We haven't had one of them for quite a while, actually, because people get it. All we do is do stats and chats up in here. We don't do ITKs. We don't throw shit at the wall and hope that it sticks. No. We talk about players. We look at their stats, see how they compare to the lads that we've got, and then see how they fit into the, the current Newcastle United line. That's exactly what I'm going to do in a minute. So if you're new to this channel, and just check us out for the first time. Hello, good to see you. Click that button, come and subscribe. We're over 4,200 subscribers, so loads of room for you guys and Evermore. I've had loads of people who click that button. Really appreciate it. Loads of transfer chat and stats, just like you're about to watch, as well as a live show Monday with me and Mark at 10 a.m. 10 a.m., 10 p.m. I'll be working at 10 a.m. I'll get in trouble. 10 p.m. And uh, also the rants and uh, thought of the day videos as well. So smash the button. You won't regret it. Come and join us. So who am I waffling on about today? Well, I'm waffling on about an attacking player who really excites me, to be honest with you. He can play through the middle, predominantly plays through the middle, but he can play either side as well. And I think if we sign this kid, it'll be fucking incredible. See, Mark, I waited long enough to swear. So who am I talking about? I'm talking about this lad right here. That's Jonathan David or Jonathan David, as the French commentators refer to him as. So he plays for Lille, 23 years old. Um, now, the big thing about this, before I get into the stats and talk about how mint he is as a player, um, everybody keeps talking about this right-sided centre-half. We need this right-sided centre-half. We need a long-term replacement for Fabian Scher, right? Do you know what it is? We also need a long-term replacement for that man, that picture there, Callum Wilson. Callum Wilson's amazing, incredible, and handsome devil that he is as well. However, he's 31 years old. He had a brilliant season last season, probably the best he's, he's ever had in his career. He ain't getting any younger, and injuries are a problem for Callum. We need to have a player that can push him and Isaac for a start and birth and can also be a long-term successor to Callum Wilson. And this kid, at 23, year old, 23 years old, could certainly fill that gap. Jonathan David is a player, just before we get into stats and chats, lightning quick, quick feet, strong, gets involved in the attack and play in terms of the build-up play, holds the ball up well when he needs to as well, decent in the air, very, very fast, though, good turn of pace and an instinctive finisher as well. A lot of the goals, when you look at them, remind you a little bit of some of the goals that Callum scores as well. So I think this would be an unbelievable bit of business for Newcastle United. We are linked, apparently. We are talking about bringing him in. He's valued at 60 million euro, which I think is his valuation. So I suppose if he kind of knocked that back a bit, it's just in the high 50 millions. The whole story with Jonathan David is very, very similar to that of Alexander Rizak. For years, Alexander Rizak was linked to, to Arsenal, to Liverpool, to, to, to whoever else. Chelsea possibly at one point, because Chelsea tried to buy me, I think, at one point. But yeah, Rizak was linked to all these clubs, and then they all went quiet. They all went and signed them into players, and then we ended up with Alexander Rizak. Jonathan David is exactly the same, linked to Spurs, linked to Chelsea, linked to Liverpool, linked to Arsenal, all through the years. Never moved from Lille. This could be the time. Lille needed some cash in the bank. Everyone needs to balance FFP. Newcastle United could strike and get an unbelievable football here. So let's look at his stats and it'll back up exactly what I'm saying about it. So he's 23 years old, as we said, much younger than Callum. He played 40 games last season versus Callum's 36. 37 of those were 90 minute games, 26 goals. What a return that is. And it's not just for his club. He's got 42 caps and 25 goals for Canada of all fucking teams. You know, so it shows you that he scores goals at all levels. This lad, four assists as well. So fantastic stats. You know, Callum did really well with 18 goals and five assists as well. But that's brilliant numbers. I know he's playing in an inferior league to Callum, but a goal scorer is a goal scorer. And a kid as instinctive as this would be able to do, I think, in the Premier League. Goals to games, 0.68 versus 0.86. XGs, 0.67 to 0.84. Shots, 2.70. So Callum takes more shots a game. The shots on target is kind of roundabout better for David, I think. In, in those statistics is 1.25 to his 2.70. Um, his goals to shot ratio, 0.15. Wilson's 0.21. Assists, Wilson's slightly higher than him because he's got an extra assist. Pass completion, look at Davis. Pass completion, way higher than Callum's. Callum is a brilliant goal scorer. Very good on the ball, but quite often he doesn't really get involved with passing too much, whereas David obviously does get involved with that. He can drop in deep. He can play as a second striker. He can pull out as a winger. So he's possibly got a little bit more passing to his game that, that, than Callum has. You can see that by his key pass and stats as well and his shot creation um, uh, accuracies as well. So a phenomenal footballer, in my opinion. I think this would be a great bit of business for Newcastle if we can get this done. Look at his stats, the red, amber, greens. Only one red on there, guys. Most of it's green, to be honest with you. His goal is 91st percentile. His XG, 92 percentile. Um, you know, it's expected assist, 86 percentile. Shot creation, 88. Pass completion, 97. Progressive passes, 81 
touches in the area 84, carries into the area 80. Um, unbelievable stats here. Unbelievable. The only one thing that he's kind of shit at is aerials. He's not great in the air. If you go look at his highlight reel, a lot of his headers are saved by keepers. He's not brilliant in the air, uh, but he's a very instinctive striker. He can he can win a header, but it doesn't seem to score many headers. But he does more of his his, his work on the deck, I would say. Dispossess is 41, so he does get dispossessed, I suppose, a little bit. Uh, but you've got to be brave to take on players. Successful take-ons, again, is a little bit low. When you've got players like Miggy Almiron, even St. Max, if he's still here, if he's still hanging around, you've got Isaac as well, um, Bruno, Joe Linton, Willick. You know, you've got loads of players that can do all that dirty work for David and just let him get in the position to do what he does best, and that's score goals. So, yeah, for me, this would be an unbelievable sign, and I'm buzzing for this. I really, really hope that uh, that this comes off. I do think Newcastle United needs some more attack and birth. There's no doubt about it. Harvey Barnes, that's, that's gone a little bit quiet, but it looks like that might be rumbling behind the scenes. There's still talk about apparently Federico Chiesa is interested in the project. I mean, fuck me. If we can get David and Chiesa and Harvey Barnes through the door, throw a left back in the mix, we are fucking cooking on gas for this league coming with the Champions League uh, on, on the plate as well. I'll be buzzing for that. David's got Champions League experience as well, as has Chiesa, if we can get them to win. But this is all about David, this video. Get it done, Newcastle United. I'm buzzing for this sign. I think it'll be absolutely class. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you take David or not? Do you not think it's a smart way? It's a smart bit of business. Wouldn't you drop 58 million quid or whatever it is on him? Would you look elsewhere? Let us know. We always like to hear from you. Always do it best to try and reply to you as well. And as I mentioned at the start, if you just check us out for the first time, click subscribe, come and join us. Loads of room for you. Like the video, help get it around YouTube. Have a cracking day wherever you are, everyone. And we'll see you later. Cheers. Bye.